If you've been around entitlement, which I define as I'm above the rules, the rules don't apply to me, I deserve special treatment. If you've been around someone who's entitled, uh, you really kind of feel disconnected and, and you don't even feel like you, you know the person. People who do have an entitled relationship often feel very helpless and powerless. How can I stop this situation? What I did is I took the neurological research and the biblical research and the performance research and I, found, I created a model basically of how you can be a force to help people learn that hard work is a good thing and that being humble is a good thing and that we can live better because really entitlement should not work. Uh, one of the key passages they use in this is one of my favorite in the whole Bible is Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7 where Jesus is talking about the hard things he's going to have to do and he says, I've set my face like a flint. And there are some times in life that you set your face, in the Hebrew the word is to, to, um, to put pressure on your face. You have to set your face like a flint to make promises and keep promises and do difficult things. And then the rest of the book is basically principles of how to do this and encourage people in your life to live the hard way. Most of the time um, a person who is interested in this book has a relationship or a business colleague or a family member that just doesn't get it and they're frustrated and they're sort of like unreachable. So anybody that cares about relationships and cares about growth and wants to see good things, certainly we all have a certain level of, of entitlement. I call that pocket entitlement. I've got my little pockets of entitlement. But this is for those who are really concerned about the global entitlement we see in our relationships out there.